Wonder Woman and the Darkest Knight find themselves at the origin of the very first multiverse, where they see the hand of Perpetua. And the Darkest Knight explains to Diana a thing. Even if they win, the hands are coming. They are the same species that Perpetua comes from, creators of multiverses. They won't let any multiverse reform again here, with them as protagonists, or even with their children. There is no future. But Diana has enough power to see for herself, so why not looking into a possible victory, and see if the Darkest Knight is lying? So she does, and she discovers he's telling the truth. The hands will come if they win, and they will undo them like they are nothing, all their precious history disappearing. So he tells her to join him. He will give them a paradise to live in, where all is good, happy, safe. And he will proceed with his plan, creating a multiverse able to fight and kill the hands, making him king of the omniverse. But of course Diana refuses and hits him with Perpetua's own hand, awakening a surge of power in her and her allies. Every time she hits him, the collective stories of their multiverse becomes more important, uniting them all, and she knows now he's afraid of her. With a powerful blow, Diana hits the darkest night right to the end of time, a place called the Death Sun, where all stories, all the multiverses, all matter ends. And while she pushes him into this sun, they both feel them coming the hands. But she also feels her friends fighting back. Batman tricking the Robin King, making an even bigger army of zombies while his enemy believed the Black Lantern Ring destroyed. Superman saved by Lex Luthor, who with a special suit triggers a black hole event and kills the last son, sacrificing himself. And she decides what she will do. She won't listen to the darkest night, even if it means the end. She closes her eyes. She imagines the world, the future, she would like to end and then pushes the darkest night inside the death sun, and she disappears.